Hello, and welcome to Excelento. In today's video, we're going to count down our choices for the top 20 places you can't visit as a human. If you're making plans for your next vacation, don't forget to cross these places off your list. Stay with us till the end because number one is going to surprise you. So, let's begin with number 20 on our list, which is Surtsey Island. Surtsey is a volcanic island just off the south coast of Iceland. It was made when a volcano erupted from November 1963 to June 1967 for almost four years. These volcanic eruptions destroyed everything within the Iceland. Botanists and biologists can go to the island for scientific research, but no one else is allowed to go there. The reason people can't go to Surtsey is so that plant and animal colonization and geological formations can happen as naturally as possible with as little human interference as possible. All scientific visitors have to check their belongings before entering to make sure they don't bring any seeds into the ecosystem. This rule was made after a tomato plant grew from human poop that wasn't cleaned up properly in 2009. Number 19. Catacomb de Paris The catacombs of Paris are underground cemeteries in the French capital where bones are kept. The stone mines used to be here. But now all that's left are caverns, tunnels, and the bones of about 6 million people. This is why the catacombs are sometimes called the world's largest grave. Parts of the underground cemetery became visible in the 19th century. These parts are now in 14 museums in the city of Paris. But what we're interested in are the parts of the catacombs that are closed to the public. Our minds can only guess what's in those tunnels and caves that are too dangerous for the public to explore. Number 18. North Sentinel Island Andaman and Nicobar Islands, India The Sentinelis, a group of native people with a population of between 50 and 400, live on North Sentinel Island. They are one of the last groups of people in the world who have not been touched by modern civilization and refuse to have any contact with people from other places. The Sentinelese killed two fishermen in 2006 when their boat drifted close to the island. Peaceful contact was made with the Sentinelese in the early 1990s, but in 1997, the Indian government stopped sending people to the island. Number 17. Lusco, France Some of the most famous Upper Paleolithic art in the world is found in the caves of Lusco. The paintings are thought to be more than 17,000 years old and mostly show large animals. The Lusco Caves are on the UNESCO World Heritage List and have been off-limits to the public since 1963. This is mostly because people could damage the caves if they went there. At the moment, only a small group of scientists are allowed to go into the caves. However, in 1983, the public was able to see a copy of the caves called Lusco II. Number 16. RAF Men with Hill England, this Royal Air Force station is one of the biggest electronic monitoring stations in the world. It helps the United States and the United Kingdom with the Intelligence Department. During the Cold War, it was set up to read messages between the Soviet Union and its allies. However, the station is still in use. Several of the satellites are now directly controlled by the U.S. National Security Agency, NSA, which has been criticized in recent years after the Snowden leaks. Number 15. The Vatican Secret Archives, Vatican City The Vatican Secret Archives in Vatican City hold all of the important documents that the Catholic Church has collected over the years, such as state papers and papal account books. It is where all the acts passed by the Holy See are kept. They could be called the Vatican Private Archives, but since the documents are not really secret, they are more like the Pope's personal belongings. You can't go into the archive, though. If you want to look at a document, you have to make a formal request, which, if accepted, will give you access. But only qualified scholars can apply, and the public can only see documents that were written before 1939. Number 14. Area 51, Nevada People often say that the U.S. is very secretive, and Nevada's Area 51 has been a source of criticism and rumors for decades, even though no one knows what the main purpose of the base is. Historical evidence suggests that it has been used to make and test weapons. Since all research in Area 51 is considered top secret, it is often mentioned in UFO stories. Many people think that the base is home to alien spacecraft, 
and even alien species. Others think that scientists are working on time travel or teleportation devices. Since the base is no longer open to the public, rumors about the U.S. Air Force facility are likely to keep growing. Number 13. Heard Island, Australia Heard Island is one of the world's most remote islands. It is part of Australia, but it's between Madagascar and Antarctica. From Fremantle, it takes seven days on a boat to get to Heard Island, but people are not allowed to go there. Landings are only allowed on the nearby McDonnell Islands for important scientific reasons. Number 12. France's Real No-Go Zone When you think of France and its beautiful countryside, you might think of quaint villages, vineyards, and rolling green hills that you can drive through on a summer road trip. Not all of France looks like rolling green hills with pretty villages. In fact, there is a part of this beautiful country called the Red Zone where no one has been allowed to go for almost a hundred years. There is no one there. There is nothing there, and people are not allowed to go there. Before World War I, most of the land in Verdun was used for farming. During the war, when millions of artillery shells were fired, the area changed quickly. When the war ended in 1918, the ground was torn up, the trees were broken, and the towns were destroyed by explosives. The villages were a casualty of war because they couldn't keep up with the impossible task of removing all of the detonated weapons, and humans and animals remain. The French government decided to move people against their will, which led to the creation of the Zone Rouge. Whole villages that were wiped off the map were considered war casualties. The 1,190 square kilometers, or 460 square miles, the area is still off limits to the public by law, and officials are working to clear the land for farming. But at the rate it is going now, many people think it will take between 300 and 700 years to clear up, or it may never be clear. Number 11. The U.S. Bullion Depository, also known as Fort Knox. It is just 48 kilometers southwest of Louisville. It is one of the best-kept secrets in the U.S. We don't think many people have been inside the gold fortress because it is made of shiny gold bricks. This leaves many questions about where it is. The U.S. Army Post Fort Knox is right next to the U.S. Bullion Depository, but the Gold Vault Building is often called Fort Knox. The U.S. Mint says that there are currently 140.7 million ounces of gold in Fort Knox, Kentucky. At the current price of about $1,280 per ounce, this is worth $220.06 billion. This isn't nearly enough to get the U.S. out of its national debt of $14.7 trillion since the gold reserves are worth less than 2% of the U.S. public debt. Most of what happens there is kept secret, which is where the saying, as safe as Fort Knox, came from. Number 10. Bohemian Grove Some of the richest and most powerful men in the world get together every July at a 2,700-acre campground in Monterey, California, to drink heavily for two weeks. The group says that they are just doing rituals to honor the Redwoods and other things. People like former U.S. presidents, musicians, and oil barons have met at Bohemian Grove, where they are told, weaving spiders don't come here. This means that business deals should be done elsewhere. One exception was in 1942, when the Manhattan Project, which led to the creation of the atomic bomb, was planned at the club. According to rumors, the only way to join the Bohemian Club is to be invited by a member or to join a decades-long waiting list. There is also a $25,000 initiation fee and yearly dues. Number 9. Snake Island El Hadda Quanmata Grand, also called Snake Island, is about 150 kilometers south of downtown Sao Paulo, Brazil. It is about 40 kilometers off the coast of Brazil. People aren't allowed on Snake Island and for good reason. There is one poisonous snake for every square foot of land there and the last fisherman who got too close to its shores was found days later, floating in his own boat, dead in a pool of blood. The island is dangerous because of the golden lancet snakes, which are a type of pit viper and one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. Between 2,000 and 4,000 snakes are thought to live on the island, which is why it's called Snake Island. The island is uninhabited. Now the Navy checks on the lighthouse every so often to make sure it's in good shape and that no explorers are getting too close to the island. Number 8. 
Russia's Murni Diamond Mine At the Murni Mine, which is in eastern Siberia, there is a huge pit that was dug out by people. It is the second largest hole made by people in the world. When it closed in 2004, the mine was 525 meters deep and 1,200 meters wide, making it the second largest hole ever dug. After Bingham Canyon Mine, the hole is so big that helicopters can't fly above the mine because they have been sucked in by the airflow going down. During its busiest years, the mine made more than 10 million carats of diamonds. The town is off limits to everyone else every year, so you shouldn't expect to see this diamond in the rough. Number 7. Poviglia in Italy A small island between Venice and Lido in northern Italy. For hundreds of years, the dead have been buried on this small island. In the 14th century, people who had the bubonic plague were sent to the island to stay safe. People who were mentally ill in the area were sent to Poviglia, where it was said that a cruel doctor did experiments on the patients. Today, the island is empty except for the ghosts of the tortured people who used to live there. Tourists and locals aren't allowed to go there unless they fill out a lot of paperwork, which is probably for the best, since this is thought to be the most haunted place in Italy. Number 6. The Svalbard Global Sea Vault It is halfway between Norway and the North Pole. The Svalbard Global Sea Vault, which not many people know about, has the most seeds of any place in the world. It was opened a decade ago in the northernmost place on Earth where people live. It has an airport, stores, and 850,000 seed varieties from 5,000 core agricultural crops. The entire seed vault, which is made to store and protect 4.5 million varieties, or about 2.5 billion individual seeds for hundreds of years, is a multi-million dollar hedge against a man-made or natural disaster that could bring about the end of the world. Small Bart is the largest, most mythical, and hardest to get to. This faraway place at the cold end of the planet seems like a good place for a pilgrimage, but don't plan one soon unless you're bringing seed deposits that have been approved by the Norwegian government during one of the three times a year when the vault is open. Number 5. Chapel of the Ark of the Covenant, Ethiopia The Ark of the Covenant is one of the most sought-after Bible artifacts. This legendary object was built around 3,000 years ago to hold the Ten Commandments on stone tablets. After the Babylonian Empire beat the Israelites, the Ark disappeared from history. No one really knows if it was destroyed, stolen, or hidden. Ethiopian legend says that the Ark of the Covenant is kept at the St. Mary of Zion Cathedral, also known as the Chapel of the Ark in Oxen. Only one man, a monk, is allowed to see the Ark, and he is responsible for keeping it safe. Even though some reports say the Oxen thing is just a copy of the Ark, no one else is allowed to go into the chapel to look at the artifact. This makes it a forbidden place that you wish you could visit. Number 4. Coca-Cola Vault, Atlanta the recipe for Coca-Cola is thought to be one of the best-kept secrets in the world. It was created in the late 1880s by biochemist John Pemberton in Atlanta. To keep the recipe secret, it is kept in a large security vault. Coca-Cola has guarded it with everything they have. In 2011, the company decided to move the famous Coca-Cola recipe to an Atlanta museum. Each year, a lot of people visit the facilities, but only a small number of people can get into the vault. Number 3. Room 39, North Korea Room 39 is a secret building where the government of North Korea is trying to get foreign currency for the country's leaders. Some sources say that Room 39 was made in the late 1970s and is in the Workers' Party building in Panjang. It got its name from the office it used to be in at the party headquarters when it was first made. The group is thought to make between $500 million and $1 billion a year or more, and it may be doing illegal things like making fake $100 bills, making controlled substances, selling weapons, and even international insurance fraud. Because of how secretive the room is, there isn't much official information about it. However, it is one of the most secretive organizations in what is arguably the most secretive state in the world. Number 2. Bangar Fort, India Now we're taking a long trip from South America to India again. Between Jaipur and Alwar in Rajasthan, 
are the ruins of what many people would call one of India's most beautiful kingdoms. In the late 1500s, the ruler of Amber Kachwa built Bangar Fort for his youngest son. Historians say that the fort was full of life at the time, and people until 1783, when a severe famine forced the last villagers to leave. Local stories say that the cursed fort was the reason why the kingdom fell apart after the famine drove its people away. The Bangar Fort is the only legally recognized haunted place in all of India. To get into the fort before dawn or after sundown, you need a government permit. The fort is now said to be home to wild animals that come out at night, like tigers and other things. No one knows what happens there at night. Number 1. Moscow Metro 2 Somewhere in Russia, there is a rumor that something amazing is going on down under Moscow. This is the informal name for a secret underground metro system that is often talked about and is said to be the same as the public Moscow Metro. The system was supposedly built, or at least started during the time of Joseph Stalin. It was given the code name P6 by the KGB. It is said that Stalin's extreme paranoia led to the building of the famous Metro 2 in Moscow. A large network of underground tunnels that connect the Kremlin to KGB outposts and Stalin's homes outside the city. No regular person has ever seen, heard, or been too much or too, and even if they could find it, it's clear that they can't go there. So that's all for today guys, tell us your views in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification of our new videos. You can also watch our other videos suggested, just for you. See you in the next video.